Aqua balls. Now I know the name sounds more like something that would be, say, a uh, Jason Momoa rated R flick. <laughs> I don't mind. It's an honorable end. But aqua balls is an amalgamation of Georgia's aquatic life and ball pythons. This is aqua balls. I did put a female in the tank, but not inside. You know, it's in a separate container. As you see, there's a lot of uh, like foxtail. Water is tanny, and there's a bunch of stuff on top. It'll be so, so beautiful. And the female's like that. Is it? She's a blue alien, and she's ready. Aqua Balls shows beautiful aquascapes, you know, like gorgeous aquarium setups, and some of the coolest aquatic life. Fish are not the only exotics that you will see on Aqua Balls. What's up, YouTube? Check out this place. I came in here for Frog Festival, bought some stuff. Yeah, how about those plants? Plants after plants, everywhere at frog fest plants do make up over half of aquariums and terrariums those cichlids look like they're in paradise that's basically what a biotope is it's a habitat that's associated with a specific ecological community sesame street was brought to you today <laughs> At first, we didn't know what to do with all the money. We tried burying it, shredding it, and burning it. <laughs> Let's make biotope our giveaway phrase. Yeah. Official rules in the description. The... The... If your spelling is phonetically close, it counts. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. And rare color mutations Morning. of ball pythons. I see two guys pip their heads out. That means it's time to cut our clutch. Okay, so, here we go. so we're just helping a little bit. Take Saying gloves, hello, right? everybody. So if you're into exotics, particularly aquatic and terrarium life, you should definitely check out Aqua Balls. Littlefoot Ranch. Littlefoot Ranch has spent the last 10 to 11 months sharing with YouTube how they're transforming raw Texas land into a compassionate and purposeful homestead. Welcome to Littlefoot Ranch. I am Rebecca. I'm Doug. Hey, you guys remember him, right? He still is around. I didn't do anything to him. <laughs> we got him when he was three. Yep. This but is yeah, who they're named after. 18 hands high and just a big, glorious boy. And they really do just bring us so much peace and love and just make life really really wonderful they have a handful of rescue horses and what else is going like, on is one of my favorite things and then if you guys are wondering why some of the beds are so bare it's because you can see how much they've been settling and, and then spinning around over here to this bed right behind me this is a marigold plant another monster <laughs> of a zucchini plant i have gotten so many off of this one same thing over here these peppers have been in here since the beginning and they're just not doing anything yes littlefoot ranch has a mix of gardening tours and homestead maintenance videos what do they do with their garden halls? I'm going to spread some on the sandwiches and put it on the cucumbers and mm, so good. Lather it on there real good. So, anyway, let's give these bad boys a taste because they're going to be so good. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy yeah, yeah. cucumber oh. sandwich. Oh. oh. First card up is a nine. Right. Um, you take one of those. Yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. Right. Good Thank boys. You, good. Yeah, there, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, really, they came up with some really delicious looking ways to feed there's the really family. There's no right or wrong way to do this, guys. Just however you prefer. I know that doesn't look appetizing. I am probably not going to post this part of the video because, my God, that looks ridiculous. Bon appetit. Want to brew for breakfast? Oh, no. You're bleak now. Don't be shy. <laughs> not that kind. The ions and the metals. And messes with your tea. So always use silicone or plastic. 
Littlefoot Ranch is slowly fermenting their channel and they're giving YouTube land just enough variety to create something for everyone without losing the ranch of it all. Check them out. Mark from Montana. Mark from Montana is a modeler whose models are mainly miniatures. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the specialized glasses, painting and detailing miniature scale models is not easy. But then my inhibitions tend to go away after a couple of single malt whiskeys. Whether or not what I've done will stand the test of time, or even a closer look later on, remains to be seen. Mark from Montana shows some techniques that he uses with um, specialized art supplies, you know, this one's themed. I believe a 0.2 mm needle and nozzle and a 0.4, which is inside there. That kind of looks like an extra fancy, um... Now, when I tell you to let go, I want you to let go and inhale. <laughs> it's just an airbrush pan, I'm sure. I'm sure. This thing started... I'm kinda. so glad we moved out here. I had plenty of space to work, but I filled it up. There's the table in all its glory. Great light. Stuff spans to the expand to the space you have. No truer words spoken. More stuff up here. Compressor, airbrush, rattle cans, paints, paints, tools. Mark from Montana may have a problem. He does love his styrene. He's in Oregon, so, you know, he probably has a root cellar full of scale model supplies. <laughs> and if he doesn't, I'm positive his addiction is large enough that he'd do anything to do scale modeling. Every darn one of them. If you're a history here. buff, the stories behind Mark's builds will greatly interest you. So whether you're a scaled modeler or just are handy with a paint or airbrush, Mark from Montana's tributes to Western civilization are worth the watch. Check him out. He's got aquariums and balls. <laughs> Pythons, that is. Changing the world one little foot at a time. The man from Montana with miniature models. Are these your people? <laughs>